but like yeah sweatshirt sweatpants because quarantine i'm not getting all ready for you guys i'm sorry setup kind of today because I kind of wanted this to be more of like a like non-structured video and more of like a vlog first of all like I'm sorry that I stopped posting for a while it was a lot with school and my mental health now that that's out of the way I want to talk about a little bit of being in quarantine feeling fat because you're missing the gym or your meals aren't perfect you need to go back into your mind and be like no the whole world is going through this right now it's just it's not just me but some people stress eat and that's totally okay during this time you're allowed to give your body what it wants right now regardless if you are working out or not because you're anxious right now and it's totally okay to not be so hard on yourself and you're allowed to indulge a little bit to cope with stress and anxiety obviously not being able to go to the gym has been really hard for me knowing that this is gonna go on for a lot longer than we think just kind of gives me anxiety i've still been going on walks i've been running a lot basically wanted to make this video more of like why i started recovery there's so many different kinds of recovery i've been really struggling with body dysmorphia and my relationship with food for sure i don't really allow myself enough to eat bad foods or foods that are not as nutritious because i have this constant fear that i will gain weight if i eat them i would just basically think that everything that i was going to eat would make me fat and if i didn't eat perfectly healthy then i was like doing something very bad and i'd be i'd feel very guilty i think it's like a common thing for people to struggle with after being an eating disorder for so long i'm trying to really just eat mindfully eat what i want when i want when i'm hungry stop when i'm full and that's those are all the things that i struggle with still and also i would weigh myself twice a day this is all by the way a couple weeks ago is when i was doing this but i would weigh myself two times a day once in the morning once after i worked out and i haven't even like stopped doing this for a while but saying that just makes me feel like why did you do that what is the point of weighing yourself twice a day and getting depressed if you didn't lose a pound after you worked out or if you gained a pound in the morning you, only because you had a little bit extra sodium the night before your weight's going to change every day your body doesn't just look like this all the time it's reacting to what you did the night before if you didn't get enough sleep if you're stressed tomorrow it's probably just gonna go back to normal because your body isn't stupid and it's going to balance everything I'm trying to just weigh myself whenever i feel good but if you're gonna weigh yourself when you feel terrible about yourself that's when all the bad thoughts come in and you're gonna be like i need to eat less today i need to work out harder today which is totally just not a good mindset to be in and i honestly feel a lot better not having the thought of weighing myself right when i wake up i just wanted to share that little vent sesh with you with the whole recovery thing and why i'm doing it i'm going to be filming what i eat today it's probably not going to be a lot just because i've been eating a lot over the past couple days so like i said my body is balancing out so if you guys see me not really eating that much this is not how i eat every day forever to focus oh it's gonna get on my blankie little ezekiel muffin and then i just toasted it so i like i put it in this one in twice since it's thicker but yeah i did the ezekiel 
muffins and then I put a little bit of peanut butter and jam and a half a banana on this one and then and half of an avocado, some turkey, oop, this little egg on top and it's a little burnt, yeah. I got distracted. I hate when all the yolk comes out so I literally like I just flattened it out so that's why I do that because I like when it's all like cooked I don't like anything coming out. It's always like hard and weird for me because I keep like track of my calories but I didn't like specifically like go into an app and like count everything like I used to do but now I don't even do that anymore I'm trying to like not even keep track in my calculator I just kind of like eat when I'm hungry and stuff like I said but I would always like measure a few different foods like peanut butter I would measure my coffee grain which is weird granola almonds little things that are high in calories I would measure ever since I started like recovery like two weeks ago I didn't measure my peanut butter I haven't measured my granola or my almonds or like anything I've just been like eating and honestly I feel like I'm getting less of it now which is like a good amount than when I would measure it I don't think this little guy here needs a whole tablespoon of peanut butter but I'm just, I don't even care like as long as it's all covered and looks good, I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna be good. I just recommend you like not counting your calories at all and not even measuring certain things like especially peanut butter. I know probably a lot of people struggle with measuring peanut butter since it's like so high in calories but it's good fats and it's like nutritious so you should just eat it anyway. And most likely you're not even eating that much like than you think you are unless you have like the whole jar and you're like eating it by a spoon which we're all guilty of doing that at some point, but you get what I'm saying. I'm going to eat this, and then my friend actually texted me and said that she wants to work out a little bit earlier because we usually would work out at like 4.30. So she told me to get ready by 3.30 to go meet her. This is like my first hard workout in a while, so it's going to be interesting. This is my friend Erica. Hey. We're um, six feet apart because <laughs> I don't want people to yell at us and be like, Honestly, <laughs> Like, it was a picture from like three weeks ago, and the woman was like, um, some people are taking this quarantine very seriously, and I can't believe you're being so inconsiderate. To clear things up, we are keeping our distance, so no one has to yell at us. But we are on a football field, and we're going to do a hit cardio workout that she has for me, so I'm kind of nervous because I haven't done a hard workout in a really long time. Yeah, so. I want to take a couple days off. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay guys, like, I'm done now. It is freezing outside. 45 degrees right now and it's super cloudy and there was a little bit of raindrops. It was pretty difficult since it was so cold. You know when you're working out and your joints just like hurt because it's so cold outside? Like I feel like I really wasn't even getting a really good workout because it was so cold outside. But I did it, we did it, and we walked around the track as a cool down and yeah it was nice i think it's important to see at least like someone the same person like i've only been seeing her um and working out outside with a distance i think that's important honestly for your mental health everyone else try to facetime them as much as you can call them talk to your family um, but i know it's like super hard right now especially because it's so cloudy outside it makes it worse <laughs> but yeah we still did it and it's still a good day I'm gonna go home and see what's going on with dinner. Okay, so I've been like trash at vlogging today because I just feel like I have so much content. I have no makeup on right now, so like this is the real me. Like, I just wanted to film 
my dinner and then I was gonna make like a what not eat in a day but I honestly think I have so much content right now I just filmed my breakfast my snack and my dinner and then I'm most likely just going to tell you now that I'm going to probably have a cereal or um like a yogurt before bed because that's what I usually do for dessert we'll do this better and keep things shorter my next vlog but I just got so excited and had so much to tell you so um I'm sorry about that. So I'm just gonna end it here right after I show you this. I'm gonna be doing some homework and relaxing for the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry like it was pretty bad but I'm trying here. It's been a while so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.